Price loss coverage is the, very much similar to the old counter-cyclical payments program that we had several years ago. Um, it establishes a price floor for each crop based on the national marking year average price. So each program crop has a reference price that is set at the national level. For corn, it's 370. For soybeans, it's 840. For wheat, it's 550. And for oats, it's 240. And how the program works is if the national marketing year average price is less than this reference price, then PLC payments are triggered. The way that works then is there's first there's that PLC payment rate, which is that reference price minus that marketing year average price. And then if that's so if there's a negative there where um, the price is below the marketing price of the year is below the reference price, there'll be a, a payment that PLC payment rate will be positive. Then the PLC payment is 85% times the base acres as you have on that farm times the payment yield for that farm times that payment rate. Just to be clear here, um, marketing year for corn and soybeans is September 1st until August 31st. So that means the 2019 marketing year for corn and soybeans does not end until August 31st of 2020. Wheat notes is a slightly different marketing year. It runs from June 1st until March 31st of the subsequent year. So in that example, um, the marketing year for um, wheat and oats doesn't end until um, 2020 in May 31st. So here's a simple example just to help you make sure you understand how PLC works. Let's say, well, this is actually the actual price, is the 2018 national marketing year average price for corn was 361, which is below the PLC reference price of 370. So that would trigger PLC payments. If anyone has PLC um, base acres enrolled um, for corn, they would trigger payments this year. Um, and so the way that um, works is the 370 minus 361 is 9 cents a bushel. So if you have 100 base acres of corn enrolled in PLC and a payment yield of 140 bushels per acre, then your PLC, your PLC payment rate would be 85% times 100 acres times 140 bushels per acre times that 9 cent um, per bushel payment rate or $1,071. As you can see, it's the key is that it runs at the national marketing year average price. It's not your own price, and it's your payment yield, not your actual yield, and it's your base acres, not which might not be what you actually plant.